hello guys so in this video we are going to see how to do navigation and routing so for example this is our app that we are going to create this is a very simple app that contain one menu on the top and we have some items and if i click on gallery i will navigate to gallery component and you can see the route has been changed same way for jobs for about and from home okay so this is what we are going to start so let's create a new project let me close this previous one and i just create a new project with ng new navigation so it is asking for routing since we are going to use routing so we will say yes then we will go with the input css so let's wait for its completion Okay, so let's close it and we will open this navigation project and let's open it in the VS code. Okay, so just expand it and go to app and here we just go to this app component and I will delete everything. And I just start with this model list and it will contain some list of elements. The elements will start with a home. Another three that is gallery and jobs and about. Let's save this and check the output here. Just open the terminal and write ng. So, Okay, so let's go to the browser and check for this localhost. We have this part. Okay, let's go back and we will do what? We will just follow some CSS. Let's go to CSS and here, first of all, let's use the CUI tag and do some styling. So we don't need that list style. So let's just make it. Uh, save it. Close check style is gone now we can define some color here let's say background color let's give it black you choose any color so once i will choose black you will not be able to see this text that means this text should have some color let's use our eye and use the color white save it okay. now it is coming like this so I just want to do what? Just want to display it as a single line. So this list elements are taking the whole line. So I just want to display it on a single line. For that, I can use display inline. Let's use inline block. Save it. And check. Okay. We got this in a one line. Let's add some padding here. So padding we can choose let's say depending on your choice i'm going to try with the 16. Okay. seems better and what else we need so you can see we are not getting any cursor over here so let's use one cursor as well cursor that is point save so i think this is fine and if you want to decorate it, you can just add this eye with over so that we can change the color. So let's use background color and was black. Now I just change it to little variation of this color. Let's go with this and save it. And you can see now it is giving you hover effect. Okay. So now we left with the other components like home, gallery, job, and about. So let's do what there are two ways to create components. The one is you can create it manually, the another is you can use the CLI. So let's create a components folder and inside which we will be creating the component. So the easier way is to use this CLI. 
I just open this component folder in terminal and use the command ng generate component the name of the component that is home. Okay, so you can expand this components and you can see your home component. Same way you can create other components like we have here. This is gallery. C A M L. Same way we can create that uh, jobs and about component. Let me do it quickly. So once it is done, we can simply go to home page. So I will design one of these. So what is the benefit of this? So benefit of this CLI is when you check in the app module, these components entries are by default marked in declaration. If you create it manually, you must have to specify it under declaration. Let's close it and go back. And uh, remember in the beginning, I selected routing. So that is why this app hyphen routing dot module dot ts file is created. So here we are supposed to create the routes. Okay, so here we have this array and here we can define the routes. So for example, initially I just want this is how we create one object of route where we specify the path. The path is basically the URL. So this empty URL means nothing. It's just the direct domain name. Let's specify the corresponding component for this. Add comma component and for this we have home component. Same way we can add other entries here as well. For second one is we will be using for gallery. And that would be my gallery component. Third one would be for jobs. That would be my jobs component. And you have to import it here. And the last one I will be using about. That is my about company. This routing is done. So I just save it and come back to the browser. If you go here and check for this forward slash, so nothing happens. This is why, because we have created the route, but we have not displayed that. Uh, components anywhere. So if you want to display that components over there, you have to specify the location where you want to display. So that there is a tag, router outlet. So wherever this tag is used, the Angular can dynamically replace this outlet with required components based on the route. For example, if I go to this home, Let's go for that jobs. And what is happening? We have not saved the file yet. Let's save it. Come back here. And you can see this jobs is working fine. And same way for about and the rest of the components will work. Now what we left with, we want these components to be displayed over here on the click of these menus. For that, you can either use anchor tag but uh, if you're using angular uh, it is recommended to use router link okay so let's give it uh, empty because by default we want to display the home page and uh, same way we can use it in the rest of the ally just specify the name of the path so this path is what this path is whatever we have specified over here like this. so for the empty path it is going to the home component for this slash gallery it is going to you can even write without slash for gallery it is going to go for gallery component for jobs it is going to display this jobs and for about gonna display the about component Let's save this and cross check it. 
and I just go for the default one. You can see it is coming homeworks. You must be wondering from where the homeworks is coming. If I go here in this, you can see homework is coming. Okay, so what I do here is I just go to this. Uh, so let's create a class here, body class, or let's little decoration part and in this we can use one more class let's say main and here we can simply display three and this is and I just create the corresponding CSS classes over here dot body and for this I can give some background color let's see background color to get it with light color and uh, if you want let's stick here main class as well and in the main we are just doing what we will be using some padding because uh, that is okay. inside that yeah let's use some padding and let's give it a little one let's say one okay. and save it and let's go check it how it works this is coming like this okay so whatever you will design over here it would be coming over there because what because we have defined here the router outline okay so let's do the same for rest of the components so if you want you can do more decoration let me let me just do what let me specify the height let's go here and for this body let me see what is coming here so you can just remove these margins as well let's go here in the hole and i just show you here just scroll it We don't need any margin here. Give it zero, and you can see some margin is removed or not. Okay, so this margin is basically coming from the body, body of the page. So what to do? Just if you have to give the common styling for everywhere, then just you can go to this styles.css, and here for this body tag, you can remove the mark. Save this and you can see the margin has been removed okay so let's close this and for this body we don't need margin either let's use the height let's give it a minimum height something let's say 90 let's try with 92 okay and see so okay so we are again getting some spacing here so let's go to this app and check for this so here we have to use that margin zero here because this might be taking the mark okay so now it is fine now we left with what so let's say this color is not coming fine let me just cross check for the CSS. Okay. So what we can do, we can just use some kind of uh, gradient over here. Let's use that the background. And we have the linear gradient where we can specify to top. And we can use a starting color. which would be coming in the bottom and we want white color on the top let's try and check it you can see this is coming little bit same way you can apply the style and the rest of the css go here paste it and just change this color to something else let's use some and the same Copy this, save this, 
go to rest of the CSS files and replace some colors. Save this. And same way you have to do what from the home page, you can copy the HTML code and you can just change it over here. And this is jobs page. Save this and same way for gallery. Paste it. And later on you can design your gallery and whatever you want. Let's specify out and save it. Let's cross check it works for home page, for gallery, for jobs, for about. So everything is working fine. Okay, this is how we can do routing and navigation. And uh, one more thing I want to add on over here, for example, if I go for something else, that URL is not available, then this is showing the blank. You can uh, define some routes as well that is not available. Or if you want, you can just redirect it to the home. Like you can just display the home. So that uh, what you can do, just go to your routing. And here you need to copy this, whatever you want to display. In case of the URL, you have not defined the route you have not defined. Go here in the last and you should use double asterisk over here. So whenever the route is not specified over here, it will match for this route and display this component. So let's close check it. Go here and go for this. And you can see it is coming to the home. If I change it something else, it is coming back. So that is all for this video. If you have any doubt, do comment in the comment section. Otherwise, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.